September and happy fall. In this house, September 1st is the official start of fall. So today we get to decorate our house for fall. It's actually September 2nd today. I'm one day behind, I can't believe it. But yeah, it's the start of fall. I, I am a fall girl. Listen, September, October, November, December are my favorite months. The leaves are changing and it really actually feels like fall and it's only September 2nd. So I'm really excited to decorate the house and then go outside and it actually feel like fall. I think the high today is 55. I was able to wear a sweater and jeans and get all cozy with my pumpkin latte. So I've already pulled out everything. You saw that. I need to kind of go through and see where I want stuff to live this year. This is our first fall season living in this house and I definitely don't have enough decor to go around in the entire house. But I told myself I'm not gonna buy new decor this year. I'm just gonna work with what I have. So I just need to take some time first and kind of decide just where I wanna put everything, kind of ballpark, lay some stuff out and get an idea. I am going to light a candle, put on some ambient fall music and scenery on YouTube. I usually just type in like fall thunderstorm or something. So I'm gonna put on one of those, light a candle and start organizing and decorating. I love fall. <laughs> I always put one garland on the TV stand. So I know this one will go here. So I can figure out how to get it undone. love to put one of these garlands, one of these leaf garlands along here because this is same living room area but this is you know separated a little bit um, but we don't have enough of those and like I said I'm trying not to buy more decor so I'm trying to just work if I have what I have and I have these two like random branches leaves whatever you want to call these. My idea is that since I already have this, um, this is technically a napkin that I made from an old tablecloth, but I can kind of wrap these stems because they are wire stems and I can kind of hide them under that potentially. No, maybe not. Um, or maybe I'll just kind of wrap it around the back of this. Something like that. Cause then it just adds like a leaf foliage vibe, kind of. I think the only thing I really have for our bedroom is this one garland, unfortunately. Cause like on this side of the room is the bed and the nightstands. And I just don't think I really have anything for this room. I think I have this garland positioned where I want it. These books were on here. So I could kind of like put them back where they were. Does that look stupid? There's a better look at it. Does that look stupid? Because the dresser is up against this weird kind of half wall that's jutting out. You know, so it can't sit flush on that side. It kind of has to jut out, but maybe I could like Maybe I could kind of tape it right there. So we have one 
garland left. And I was thinking it'd be cute on the stairs, but it's not long enough. So does it look awkward? And then if it doesn't look awkward, should it be on the inside so that the stairwell is less bland, but it's not as like showy on this side? Or should I hang it on the outside? After way too much time, here's what I settled on, the original plan, but on the outside of the banister. Last but not least, we have one more garland for the kitchen and I think I'm gonna put it where our reusable paper towels are in that little nook. As my other options, I don't know, I put like up here. Because we don't get into these cabinets yeah, very often. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like over here is the best spot. But I don't know if we should put it like that. Here's the final look. I took two pillows from our living room and put them on this little bench here. Eventually we will have full length curtains on that window. And I found that little fake plant thing and put it in a pretty vase. Here's the kitchen. I did the garland under those cabinets and the anti-fatigue mat. In the living room, of course you saw that I put the garland in front of the TV. And I'm really happy with how the little decorations on the coffee table turned out. I think it's really cute. Here's another view of the living room area i found some fall pillows so i put those on the couch and i put one of our felted pumpkins up on those shelves there i kept the leaves on this trunk it might look a little awkward on camera but in person i do think it pulls the room together in a certain way there's the garland on the banister and here's another look at our living room we kept the bedroom simple i just have the one garland on the dresser and one felt pumpkin on the chair there and then i put one garland on my desk for work oh my gosh look at the blackout film and the AC unit. I cannot wait until it's dark enough and cool enough that we don't need these things at night so our room can look pretty again. But for now, we have the blackout film and the AC unit. <laughs> Thank you so much for decorating with me though. This took me longer than I care to admit, honestly, but I really love how it came out. And I don't think I'll be changing any of it. Maybe I will, but we'll see. I just want to live with it for a little while. But either way, I am so, so happy. My house feels so cozy and it just feels like fall in here. And I wish we had more decor to go around the house. It does look so much cozier, even with what we do have. So I am very happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.